Don't fret, Doug. Don't fret. Yeah. Mr. Mannering. So, here we are with a refret, yeah. eh? Yeah. So what I've done is taken the frets out, uh, heated the frets up with my little trusty iron from the mm. kitchen, the old kitchen iron. Mm. Uh, it's very good. Is that so you can do more than one at a time? You can do about no, just about warm six. warm them up a bit, just soften the glue. Yeah. Because they're glued in uh, most of the time, so I just soften the glue up a bit. You reckon these are original frets? Yeah. They are. They're original frets. They're in the bin now. Yeah. Uh, now what I'm doing is I've flatted the fingerboard out. Leveled it, should I say. With that big long thing there, with some sandpaper on it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm sitting down now. <sighs> That's it. Uh, no, I've got some little tools that I've made. This is a this is a little blade. It's an ex it's, it's some kind of uh, a surgical thing, isn't it? Exacto kind of thing. But I've just all I've done is rounded that off down the end, and so as you can see, if, if you look. It's slightly rounded, oh, yeah, yeah. and then I use this just to scrape out the shit out the uh, out the frets and find out the depth of the fret old slot because the fret I'm going to put in is um, oh, oh, is the, quite deep. Aren't the isn't is there not like a standard depth, depth of fret? Of fret uh, there is a pretty much standard depth of fret, but some manufacturers shave them thinner. No, so the, the bit that sticks in the fretboard gets glued in sometimes, yeah, often. Yeah. Is that, not, sometimes a, is that not a standard depth, like two mil? You'd think, wouldn't you? Okay. No. Uh, so I'm just making sure that this is deep enough, the slot is deep enough mm. to stand, take my frets. So what's, what's, the, what's the depth of your fret wire you're going to put in here? I'll show you. I don't know if you just told me, but... I'll show you. Oh. Do 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 do. Delete it. phone's ringing. It's a phone. It was it would be. Oh, Hello. So there's your depth of your tang. Let's see if we can get work it out on this. Need the reverse one, then. It's about no. It's it's just it's not very deep. We one and a half. 1.1. Just a uh, bit more than that. that. One and a half. So it's about one and a half, I think. There's 1.3. Yeah, it's about one and a half. Yeah. But so, one and a half mil. Yeah. So, well, the whole depth is uh, 2.8. So, and then so the tang is that much. That's what you call it, a tang? The, 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 well, the, that, that's the tang, this bit yes. with all the, them on. The bit that grips and goes into the fret. Yeah, that's it. The tango. Oh, tango. Nice. Yeah. So the thickness of the fret wire, I can't guess. I think it says 1.4. Mm. Yeah, 1.3. It's 1.3. So it's 1.3. Uh, the ta the the fret wire is, mm. and then it's and it's. Uh, so the whole thing is 2.9. So it's 1.4. That's 1.4. Medium, isn't it really? Yeah, well this is a 2.7 wide though. Yeah, it yeah, looks quite wide, yeah. Yeah, 2.7, yeah. yeah. So... What's it say? Oh, well, yeah, it's written on there, isn't it? Probably. 2.7, 1.2. 1 1 1.2, yeah. Yeah, oh, which is, yeah. High wide. High wide? High wide, yeah. This is quite a high wide flat so? wide. Is it, really? it is, yeah. Oh, so no, I can't fucking now I'll be curling this in the curling machine. This is great, this is. I used to always do this by hand. Mm. And you just, I like them over curled. Yeah. Uh, and then you flatten them out into the job. I think you've had this for a long time. Uh, no. Really? No, I've only had it here about a year, two years. How did you do it before? With By hand with a pair of cutters. Oh, really? Hmm. Mm. Yeah, just bent them with that. I bet. Like, like so. Look, so you get that and you just bend it slowly like, oh, so you mean, yeah, like yeah. that. So, but it's a longer job. I bet when you bought this, the first time you used it, you went... I didn't buy it. Gift. Gift. Yeah, but I bet when you used it the first time, you went, oh my God. My dud dud. Why, why didn't I get one of these? Yeah. Like, about three decades ago. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's really good. Christmas present. 
Yes, it was. Oh, very nice. Sue and Tim. You see, what do you buy a guy who's got all he needs in his workshop? Something he hasn't well, got. One of these, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. yeah, very good. Uh, so, I overcurl them. Yeah. Like I say, it's, it's and there's, it's deliberate. Yeah. So, there. So, I mark each one off. It's going to just lap over the plasticky stuff a little bit. Yeah, because I think I say, I've seen guitars where you've got the frets at, the fret ends at the wood, but you still, this is still the fretboard, isn't it? Yeah, the so plasticky you've got to, you've stuff. Got to go to the still edge. the fretboard, yeah. Otherwise, when you bend or you vibrato your strings, you can get them caught. Yeah, that's right. You don't want your bits caught, do you? So there you go. So that'll be that fret. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I cut cut it off. Same cutters. These have been a bit damaged now. They've been uh, used for other jobs. Yeah, you've got to cut some of the tang off, haven't you? Yeah. So I do it like that. So can you see how I'm done it? Uh, I think so. Well, there. These these are just standard cutters I've just shot them myself. Mm. Right. So then I've cut the tang off. Mm. And now what I do. Because I've made this uh, expensive jig, yeah, yeah. or oh, it's a block of wood with just a groove cut in it, yeah. and the fret sits in there, so the round part sits down there. I hold it, I'll hold it properly in a yeah, minute, yeah. and I just file that bit off. All oh, right. Any excess that's on it. Excess tangage. Uh, well, yeah, because when I've cut it off, I haven't cut quite yeah, as exactly full depth. Like, yeah. So the end will be squared for up first, where I've cut. Cut yeah. it slightly at an angle, and then uh, I'll cut that down. Mm. So each fret, I know there's fret tang nippers. I think they they sell in uh, uh, some of the old sailors. Yeah, new stores, uh, new, new new devices. Yeah, fret tang nippers. I could probably make my own, but I'm seem to be. I don't do a lot of refrets, so. I suppose you probably find in a, in a workshop like yours, yeah. you've got all these little bits and pieces of things made out of other things because yeah. that's what you had to do. Yeah. Whereas now, if I say I want to start making guitars, I'll go out. Oh to, yeah, go to out and buy everything. Fred Bloggs guitar uh, parts, Emporium. Whatever. And you and, buy everything. Yeah, and it's. Right, yeah. right, I've got a. Oh, I've already got frets in there. Let's get your lovely coffee there, Doug. I won't. Yeah. Now, what are these frets for? Mm. Because these have been already cutting. Perhaps it's that fret job you'd not get round to doing. I can't remember. I can't remember what they're for something oh. else that I'm doing. What's that pub game that you play with the matchsticks? I don't know. You know, was it? Oh, a, cribbage. Crib, crib yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a crib board, isn't it, that? So I've done one, and it's there's only about 20. Yeah. And that's 12, 15, oh. 17, 18, 19, 20. Was there, yeah. Okay. There's only 20 frets to do, so it won't take long. Well, there are... Uh, is 20 frets standard on acoustic? No. 22, isn't it? No, there's, it's 22 on electrics, yeah, electric, standard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah 20, 21 is, is standard on acoustic. Oh, really? Sometimes 19. Never knew that. Yeah. So... How can you gauge the 1.3mm tang depth? In, that you're cutting there? I just look. You use a human eye? Yeah, because uh, I'm used to it. Yeah. And that's deep enough. So you can tell that, I mean, that thing's probably about two and a half mil, three Yeah, mil. that's plenty deep yeah. enough. That all, So that means that they're all pr plenty deep enough. So do you do them all like this then? Do you I do them all, the I do this properly all the way around and I turn it around and do it from that yeah, side. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I finish scoring it down a little bit more, mm. This is a saw blade, by the way, so it's sawing, and I'm using it on the pull like the Japanese ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On and, the uh, pull. Yeah. So that's what I do. So if anybody wants to do this, they can. I'm wondering if there's anything, anything that you have to take into account when you've got the strings off. Yeah. The fret, all the woods, pretty much like. You know. Totally exposed. Yeah. What can happen between now and getting the frets in? Obviously, apart from humidity changes. Nothing really Nothing in really. this workshop. It's pretty standard temperature all the while in here, isn't it? 
It's really nice. Okay, you're, you're obviously not going to juice the thing up because you don't want any... Uh, I'm not going to put anything on it until I've, I've you want the dried it. You want the, you want the slots dry. Well, I'm going to glue clean. the frets in, you see, yeah. like they were. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit of glue on it. Just wood glue. So the wood glue doesn't stick to the fret wire, really. It just surrounds it. Yeah. You know. is, it like, is it like sort of like a... It cushions it a like, little bit. Like round, a, and it sits around the tang. So the frets aren't really glued in, but the fret slot is filled... Nicely with the glue. Yeah, it's like, like having a bit of um, like a bit of uh, cheesecake that's set, just sort of like holding it in place. That's right, sort of thing. Especially so you, if the frets have been cut too wide. Yeah, well, these so, haven't. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't use super glue, would you? Uh, no, would you? definitely not. No. Ah. You use super glue in in extreme emergencies yeah. if you've got a fret end sticking up because the uh, fret slots have been cut too wide. And then you have no choice. Well, you have. You can use epoxy resin. I had a friend who had surgery a couple of weeks ago. They actually glued his wound shut. Yeah, no staples or, or sutures. Yeah. That's he glued. Yeah, glue. Because he got like some kind of burns. Well, that was the original glue. idea for super glue, wasn't it? Well, it works skin. on fingers, doesn't it? If you got like yeah. uh, bits of fingers that are falling off. Yeah. It's been playing too much. Hey, glue them on. I've glued my finger ends on when I've oh, had yeah, problems. Yeah. When I smashed my finger end at the, in that door at the factory, we were going to a gig and I, I, I trapped my finger in the bloody great big door yeah. and uh, it burst the end off. And and we got a gig at the gardeners. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so John, the drummer, who was with me. Cottrell. Yeah, John Cottrell. He ran up the chemists yeah. and got me some rubber finger johnnies <laughs> and some, uh, I can't remember what else he got me. A plaster, or perhaps it might have been plaster. But I went back in the the workshop and uh, glued my finger end back on with yeah. super glue. Yeah. And then we put the rubber Johnny on, and we just I just played that night with a, a, a rubber finger, and like I kept a, wearing through them. I think I had three with me that night. A Tony Iommi uh, experience. Yeah. Yeah, super glue is great for musicians. Absolutely brilliant. Bits of fingers falling off. You have to. You have no choice these days. Because you can't, you know, you can't not do the gigs half the time, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, can't great. let people down. People have gone out to see you. Well. Oh, no, I mean, they were, they were rushing in to see me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, they were years ago. They'd rush in to see uh, somebody collapsing on stage. I didn't used to collapse on stage. I only do that now. No, I, 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 no way did I associate the event of a human collapsing with you being performing on stage. No. Not even when you're doing your meatloaf. Uh, have you ever collapsed when you've done your meatloaf no. uh, act? I had a funny incident, though, in a, a nightclub up the, up the north. I can't remember where it was anymore, but... So, you know, you've got the big a, a entrance thing yeah. and, the, and the meatloaf thing. And I come on from the back and there was a, the big stage, it was a big stage, and we were all on the big stage. Yeah. Uh, and then there was a little drop down to a massive big cabaret platform. Yeah. You know, where everybody yeah. was sitting around it. So I went off the stage, went down to the platform, missed saw the depth of it because it was all in darkness. <laughs> and so I went down, didn't fall over, yeah. but I did the daftest dance all the way across the stage <laughs> trying to get myself straight. Yeah. It ruined the atmosphere of the opening, but it was funny. Oh, that was the very opening? Yeah, the very opening. I bet people were... It, they were, and it was very funny. It's been hysterical. Yeah, but I, I had to carry on trying to sing while I was yeah. laughing, you know. Yeah, many many an act would have gone like... Yeah. And no, then ran no, off. just funny. Yeah. yeah. You've got to... Uh, you've got to laugh. You've got to embrace it, yeah. No, you have to laugh. I have to laugh anyway. I, think I can't help myself. I've seen that happen with somebody I've played with, and you have to... You have to embrace it and then the crowd will love you more. That's right. Because you didn't go into a full, full major sulk meltdown and just oh, stole no, off. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah. I mean, I saw you, uh, what's the name, QE2 once, when they fit the first gig up, the talk club. And it was ever so funny because the, the singer's mic wasn't working. Oh, uh, Stan Boardman. I can't remember uh, who his uh, name uh, was. Uh, uh, Tom, no, was he named no. Tom? the comedian Stan. Uh, 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 this mic, mic, microphone's not working right. Oh no, Stan no, Boardman. his mic wasn't working. So and no, and so that was and and so he was singing. The show must go on, and he was moaning, <laughs> waving his microphone yeah, at yeah. the um, <laughs> sound guys yeah. instead of just grabbing another microphone. There was loads of mics on. He could have gone over by the guitar player. Just stood there. Well, there was he? loads yeah. of microphones set up. There's about five across the front. 
And right. he should have just gone for another mic. And he, I thought that was uh, that was quite funny. The heat of the moment. Yeah, you, I know that. I, I mean, the nerves must have all been shot because it was the first gig as uh, the full, you know, <sighs> Queen tribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the mic didn't work on his first song, but he was singing "Show Must Go On." <laughs> well, funny because like the when you play professionally, the more you play, when you've got a really nice tight band, yeah. when something goes wrong, you just breeze over the issue, don't you? That's you just, right, you yeah. just like, people can almost not, not tell anything's happened. That's right. Because you're not phased by it, but when you're starting, you know, like I said, nerves can kick in. And... Yeah. So, have you, what's the worst thing you've seen on stage, apart from me? You know, it was you. Uh, you know, you must, have you seen anybody collapsing, dying on stage, uh, heart attack? Well, I've seen it on the telly when no, uh, I mean, I mean, Charlie Drake ran, jumped through that window. Jumped through and, a window? Well, he went through a window. on the, it, was like, it was a comedy jump through a window. Yeah. But I think it was a bigger fall on the side than he expected, and I think uh, he ended up in hospital. Did he? Yeah. I don't, I've never I seen that. I think it was... Uh, it wrecked him. Wrecked his health. But what about what you've seen with your own eyes in the same room on stage, you know, at venues? Well, I saw when we were working in Germany, and there was there was a double act, an old-fashioned double act came out, open keen or something like that. Uh, and they came out to be entertaining the troops. And that night, it was red hot. Mm. It was summertime in Germany. It was red hot. We were backing them. Mm. And the, all the windows were open, door, big open doors as yeah, well, yeah. To, to the outside world. And all these flying insects come in, but they weren't small. They were big, massive flying beetles. Oh, yeah. And we were used to them because we'd yeah. seen them in France, so yeah. we were used to them. And so we thought it was funny, but the comedian, because we were wafting at them while we were trying to play, yeah. which was putting ruining their show, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taking the spotlight off him. The, the well, yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? Because yeah, yeah. it ruined the timing and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, such a shame, really. But And we were young, young, 17, 18 year olds. Mm. So, you know, we were just knobs, really. Oh, and yeah. instead of just letting, just ignoring the Beatles, we were playing it up, you know. So, well, it doesn't sound like you've seen much drama on stage oh, over I've the years. I've seen drama on stage, I just can't remember a lot of it. Yeah, there's that. What about in your own band? Anything you can talk about? Anybody fall off stage? Uh... Normally it'd be me. Uh. Falling off. What about you? Must have clumsy. Yeah, yeah. When I've seen you out, because I've I've seen you abroad when I've been in a band and we've all kind of passed each other in the middle of the night yeah. in France or somewhere. Any? What's the worst sort of well, band the worst experience one you've ever we had? had? The problem, but well, that was the van thing, though. We we were we were off to. Germany for a uh, like 10 day, 17 day tour or something of the army bases. Yeah, like summer, summer ball. And we got kind of the thing, big yeah. 508, uh, big long wheelbase 508, yeah. big diesel thing yeah. van. Standard Mercedes, van. Yeah, yeah. The big one. Yeah. And uh, so we'd had a brand new exhaust fitted, the front to back, the lot thing before we went. We'd had it all service, made sure everything was okay. Uh, and off we go. And we're just getting down into Dover, and we drove onto the docks, and then I, I was driving, and drove onto the boaty thing, yeah. and just that drop down, on, you know, on your, yeah. on your into yeah. the boat, uh, and the fucking exhaust fell off, <laughs> right at the front though, on the engine oh, okay. manifold. The manifold, yeah, yeah, yeah. And with nothing <laughs> we could do with it, and uh, <clears throat> so it just sounded like a Panzer tank. Then. Yeah, I've had that, yeah. <laughs> Wait, and we had to drive, and there was fumes then coming into the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the engine was in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it's between the passenger, yeah. uh, driver's seat and passenger And uh, so there we've got fumes in the van. And we had to drive through all the all the way through from France, France. to across uh, Middle uh, to Germany, Belgium, yeah. then yeah, through Holland to Germany, yeah. through all the passport controls, yeah. like a Panzer tank, <laughs> and they were in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like and having... And we thought, we're definitely yeah. going to get stopped somewhere. Yeah. And we didn't. We got to Venlo in Holland, and that's where we were staying for the night. And the agent who'd booked us over there and was looking after us in Venlo, he uh, he took us to a, a garage the next day who fixed it up temporarily so we could get to the next gig. And then we, we were stopping in Osnabrück, I think, and the Remy lads in the army, 
they had it in their garage for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Hello. Oh, you see that? Uh, yeah, they have that two embellishments. Yeah. That was a job and half as well. Yeah, yeah, that had been used super glue. You sorry? They'd use super glue to glue the plate down with the old plate. Yeah, yeah. Just and, to... uh, it was all underneath the plate uh, to get the plate off to break the plate up. It was no good anyway, but that's not the point. Actually, I went into so, oh, just to recap here, okay, people don't realise you're talking about those scratch plates that you fitted to Gavin's guitar yeah. the other day. You know, I went into Neil Ogden's Rhythm House yesterday, yeah. saw an acoustic, a bit like Gavin's, but with one scratch plate, the same style oh, as right. those two you fitted. And I said, good God, I've seen something similar like this at Doug's and Des was there. Yeah. And I said, like, you know, I said, Doug's fitted like a scratch plate above the sound hole and one below. And I said, who has, who has, uh, you know, one above? And uh, like, about three people at the same time went to uh, the Everly Brothers. Yeah. And I said, yeah, that's just what Doug said. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'll wind us up now. What time is it, Doug? Please. Uh, I don't know. Oh. You're not wearing a watch? Yeah. 20 past four. Have you You're gone joking. Yet? Why have you let me stay so long? I know, I know you like me, but uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, I'm going to set an alarm clock. I know you want me to stay, but I can only stay so long. Well, I'm going to have to do a. I'm going to have to do a, an act soon with uh, somebody. Well, I, no. listen, I, I've got no income, so I'm your man. Thanks. Man. I said I've got no income. I know, but I'm you're your man. I know, but you called yourself a fucking man. Yeah, well, listen. You, I suppose you, somebody's got to call you. You don't have man. any choice because you can't do a solo act by yourself, can you? No. If nobody helped you, I wouldn't do you'd it. You'd literally have to stay in your armchair all day. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that, so you need to be careful who you're insulting. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I've got no, I've, no, no. I've got to insult you at all times. I've had instructions. I don't mind that. I'm happy to be insulted. So, um, well, look, I'll do it for two hundred a night. How much are you going to pay yourself? What are you laughing at? Your dream world. Fucking quality guitar player. I'll, I'll bring the technique and the skill. You can bring the good looks. No, I'll, I shall bring the guitar playing skill, oh. and I can learn songs. You bloody can't. Oh, for can't. God's sake. Oh well, yeah. You have one bad night. <laughs> I wasn't, among, I wasn't amongst many bad nights. I wasn't in mean? the mood on Monday. Eh? I wasn't in the mood on Monday. Number one, I didn't want to get up and sing. Number two, I couldn't sing very well that night. Number three, I hadn't got me lyrics with me, so actually it was my phone that kept going off. I'm surprised I didn't just say, oh, fuck this, and what walk off. What do you need the lyrics for? Two songs that you've been doing about 20 years. Because I've literally, well, no, about five or six years, but I've gotten zero interest in the songs. Well, why learn them, then? Why don't you do songs you're interested in? Because people uh, email me, beg me to do certain songs. I have to please me. I have to, I have to please me fans, Doug. No, they don't. Nobody ever emails mails you about anything. I don't I get Facebook messages, Carl. I'd love to hear you sing uh, some no, Jackson they Brown. Don't. They do. You're no, just jealous. Listen, Walter Betty. You're just jealous. <laughs> uh, uh, listen. Before you keep slagging me off, I do have my moments of genius. I don't keep slagging you off. Well, yes, I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember sort of, I remember chins on the floor when I've played in the past. <laughs> yeah, thinking, people thinking, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I surprise myself sometimes. I think I played very well that time up at um, Nantwich, Damon's guitar. It just, the magic just happened. Yeah. Yeah. And even, that's because it's an easy to play guitar, because I've said it in Even you had a tear in your eye. I could see you were fucking waving at me going, oh, Carl. <laughs> fucking incredible. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Yes, it bring a tear down your leg. <laughs> a tear down your leg. Yeah. See, this is this is the old Doug. Where have you been the last few days? This I've is the, been unhappy. Uh, you've been a miserable bastard, haven't you? Well, I've been in agony with my bastard leg, haven't I? That's no excuse. No excuse. There's people with no legs who moan less than you. I'm not using any glue here. Change the subject. Or are you going to let friction do, do the job? Uh, I'm just seeing if it is as tight as I think it is. I think there's no chance you're going to actually flatten the fucking fret. 
I'm not using any pressure at the moment. I'm just not tipping, tippy tapping it. Did anybody ever use the word peevish with you? No, I'm not. You've peeving. obliterated that fret. I haven't. I think I'm going to have to take it back out. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not happy. Hey? Eh? Need to go and find a gang of ten to help you. No, I'm not happy with it. No. I'd cut the slots wider so you can just gently tippy tappy them in, not not wallop them in. I'm not walloping them, it's just a noise, it's making a loud noise yeah. because I'm over the sound hole, you, you bloody fool. You, you need to perform a gentle slap, not a full on deadly assault. That's just checking that it's, it's um, too wide still. What's too wide? This, the, uh, the, the tanks. The tanks. I haven't cut enough off. off. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. I thought you meant they're too, too wide in their sort of But I've length, got a feeling, length. yeah, I've got a feeling that said, uh, I've got a feeling, what's the name, is a bit, I'm bending it, look with this, yeah. that's how I used to bend them. It doesn't take much longer really if you're just bending each fret like this. Um, I've got a feeling something, yeah, okay. something not clean out enough. I've heard that one before, you got a feeling, got yeah, a feeling, got, got a, a feeling, feeling, got a feeling, got a feeling. Yeah. You got a feeling about what? The flat slot. Okay, yeah, just going to widen it a little bit, yeah. 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 And what I'm doing is just w not widening the top bit, oh, yeah. just widening the slot part down below and trying to get more yeah, I know what you mean. crap out. Well, it won't crap down there, you'll be just removing wood, won't you? Yeah. <sighs> But yes, it's. Uh, I've used. A, you can use a Dremel on these slots um, if you're very careful. Mm. Very fine cutter. I've got some very fine dental right. burrs. I could go terribly wrong though. No, not really. No, if you're careful. See, I've got some very small dental burrs. They aren't quite small enough mm. then. Mm. They look small enough, but they're not. Mm -hmm. I'd stick with what you're using there. Hey. I'll stick with doing it manually with a I'm going to. Steel. Well, no, I've got a bag of them. My, my dentist gives them. There you are, that's fine enough. Look, that yeah. one. Mm. The dentist gives me these. Every time I go, I have my teeth done, which is every year nowadays. So he's stealing from the NHS, is he? No! They want. They can only use them a couple of times. and then they, what, So they've been in somebody's mouth? These have been in somebody's mouth, but they've been in the, in the cleaning thing. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Serializer. Serializer. I thought you knew everything. Can't have a thick, I just forget a names of everything. Like, can't have a thicko like me reminding you of the words you're trying to think of. How embarrassing would that be? Is it an autoclave or something like that? It sounds like a musical instrument, but it's what they clean everything with. I've no idea. I think, oh, there it is. There's the right size one. How are you going to power this thing? Or you going to use I'll put it in a Dremel. Well, no. Let's have a look at that then, and then I'll... Well, I'm not going to do it now because I'm not certain I'm going to do it. Yeah. It's fair. It's making mind up time, isn't well, it? Well, this is the Dremel-y thing I'd use. Who used to say that it's on not, the... It's not a Dremel. It's this. Who used to say that on the game shows, making mind up time? Is I it Chris know. Forsyth? I don't know. Make your mind up time. Does that fit? No, mm. it doesn't fit. Anyway. That's overkill, that is. I've got... It's, it's, there's the machine for it. Yeah. It's not plugged in. Um, mm. Oh, the Dremel is... Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's there. Oh, this is the trouble with this place. Yeah. I'm overloaded with everything, so everything I move... There you go. Yeah. So oh, yeah. there it is. So it won't go and there's off. There's a fine cutter in that. Now, that's not fine enough, but so that's a fine one. So it's hard to go off vertical, isn't it? Pardon? Yeah. You're not going to go off vertical with that contraption? No, no, yeah. no. Plus, I'll point out your shelves are all leaning forward. I've noticed. It's just a, the it's a disaster waiting to happen. They're all like that. You touch one thing, and everything comes yeah. down. Yes, it's everything needs strictly fixing. You know what I should actually do? Take everything out of the workshop, put it on the lawn, give it all tidy up, bit of a paint, and then put it all back in again. How about that? Wouldn't fit back in. Yeah, you're right. You would never fit it all back in if you took anything out. Don't go all serious again. And hey, listen, I've got to get going. I've got to get serious again because I've got to work out what I'm going to cut all these slots with because they're not wide enough. Well, OK. So what's this act you want to do? All oh, right, I don't know. I've got to do something. Because don't forget, we, we never really did the 
Doug Wilkes train wreck. I know. But I don't know if there's an audience there. That's the trouble anymore. since the uh, since the pandemic. All the audiences have just a fucking page because everybody's enjoying stopping in nowadays. Plus the price of fuel, uh, what's the name, drink, is actually fucking nominal. See, because don't forget it was Adam at Granville's who's, who, when we got up and like almost had like it was like fight night for the first time, where we were swearing at each other, and then they all thought we were doing it on purpose. And Adam said, I I'll book you if you do that. And we thought, oh, well, we weren't putting it on. We were just like, like just shouting at each other. If we went anywhere else with this with this concept, they'd say like you're out of your mind. <laughs> so I want Doug Wilkes, and then you and him, sort of taking the piss out of each other. Yes. S sort of half getting songs right sometimes, sometimes half getting them wrong, and then swearing at the crowd. <laughs> I don't swear at anybody. Actually, they might say you know what. Once a week. <laughs> The Doug Wilkes train wreck. I did some great graphics for that. Yeah, you, were, you were the engine driver and me and Dave were in the water sort oh, of right. water um, thing behind the train. The water butt? Yeah. Because remember you saying to me, don't use my name in this act. I went, yeah, okay. And I said to Dave, let's call it the Doug Wilkes train wreck. And the, and the strap line under the logo was uh, shunting into a venue near you. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good. Was? Yeah. And we've never done it. No. Uh, shunting into Granville's, 21st of uh, May. Well, I'm supposed to be doing the same kind of thing with Des Parton, aren't I? Yeah, but that really won't never happen. That really will never happen. Why not? Because you've been telling me about it for about 10 years. I know. I know it won't. That's the problem, isn't it? Um, Des is so good as well. Yeah. I think we can squash that one in now. <sighs> is that a lithium term, squash? Yeah, or twat it in then, should I say. So just to end this video very quickly. I'm just getting some glue now for the job. No, I'm gonna end the video here now actually. Okay. So we can we can glue the ending together. Can't you end the video as you're back into a big puddle well, of fall, water? Fall over, yeah. Yeah, fall over. So That's listen, it. when That's do you it. when do you reckon your legs are gonna start feeling better? Well it's feeling better a bit now. Can we not get something like uh, injected into your to uh, make it better. I'd love for somebody to come and inject me with something. In my oh, life. I can do it. I can just find some well, fluids. Well, go get something and inject it in my bastard knee because anything will do. Because otherwise, um, we're going to be putting viewers off here with your uh, pain. Yeah. We'll have to do a, uh, a knee, a channel based around a knee, injured knee. No, don't. People don't want to see injured people on the telly and on the on the videos. What about don't see you in the prime of life. Right, okay. Not fucked and bollocks. <laughs> Maybe you better start filming me then. If you want I went to Coppin Old Club youth. last night and I was crippling around the place. Oh yeah. Well, there's plenty of like uh, famous acts. Look at Leslie West. He ended up in a wheelchair. Who? Leslie West did the uh, Mississippi Girl. Da -da 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 -da. Mississippi Queen. I've never da -da 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 -da. heard of him. Uh, sorry, Mississippi Queen. Leslie West from the 70s. I don't never heard of him. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting. Uh, he's a big, big guy. Well, it wasn't famous, that's a certain fact. Well, it was. Well, who with? Uh, uh, Mountain, the band were called. They had a hit called uh, Mississippi Queen. Never heard of it. Down, 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 Mississippi Queen. If you know what I mean. Well, that's a bit nothing, it? It's quite a good song. He, uh, he's a big chap. Didn't look after his diet. Ended up with, like, a leg off due to diabetes. Then you got John Martin. Obviously a wonderful mu musician. He ended up in a wheelchair, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. So, I mean, like, uh... Why did he end up in a wheelchair? Just diet, drinking and... Drinking and... Probably drinking, drinking. You know, I went to see... Uh, a friend of mine years ago said to me, when I was in my twenties, come watch this guy called John Martin. I'd never really heard of him. And uh, I remembered his name after seeing him play. He did it solo, he had an acoustic, and then he had a Les Paul with an amp and a bit of delay, you know. Yeah. And it was absolutely phenomenal, you know. Oh. Uh, do you know any John Martin? No. Oh, he's absolutely unbelievable. He stood there, like, as soon as he kicked in, and he just, like, staring, like, again, chin on the floor, going, oh, my God. Jeff from the Wheat Shift, because he was known to be a big drinker, he yeah. said that he got at the Wheat Shift, got to the Wheat Shift, I think about two in the afternoon. Yeah. And just uh, just alone, Bacardi alone, 
because it was like free drinks for him. He'd had five bottles of Bacardi in the you know in the, in, in the afternoon. Five bottles. Of Bacardi. Five bottles of Bacardi. Yeah. And you wouldn't have even thought he was drunk. That's bad then. So maybe his lifestyle had something to do with him with his leg being amputated. Yeah. But he's performing a wheelchair, so um, do you want to keep my eyes peeled for a wheelchair? I mean, I don't mind wheeling you in. There's only you need. I mean, both legs. You can keep your legs. Just give you a rest, you know. Oh dear. We're gonna have, you realise we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to wipe this uh, week. Why? Well, it's just too much pain. And I don't know where my knife is now. No, it's not that bad, Doug. It's not that bad. Don't do it. This one. Yeah, I have a feeling that I'm annoying you actually. Because you're in pain with your leg, I think the thrill of having me around is probably. Uh, the thrill? Yeah. What fucking thrill? It's not as thrilling as it normally is. <laughs> yeah, twat. Yeah. I actually yeah. feel a bit We're cruel. close, we're close now. Well, yes. listen, I'm going to go. Um, well, okay, let's see you do this one then, and then that's it. Yeah, okay. It's very tight here. And it's not, it's not bedding in, I'm not happy. Oh, it's, it's not too bad now. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad. I'm still taking it out. I'm not happy Why? with it. No, I don't like it. It's, it isn't. It isn't sitting in right. Fair enough. Uh, so I'm not happy with it. So I'm not going to put it in and pretend I'm happy with it because I'm not. Mean it'll have to. It'll either be perfectly in, or else you just to keep taking it out. Yeah. Too much effort this is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Fret cutting is. It's a bit boring, isn't it? But it is a bit boring because you you can't saw mm. a deeper slot because of the plastic. If yeah, I yeah, take yeah, the yeah, plastic yeah. off, then I've got to re-plastic it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. my colour won't match that one exactly. It, it'll be yeah. it's too yellow, man. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. I've got a white American plastic, but it's not that colour. Oh, it's very white. Yes, it's the white American plastic. It's tinted. It's ivory, but it's. Uh, Yes. So I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to do it and bite the bullet and use my Dremel Case and works, deepen yeah, yeah. these slots. That's not quite deep enough, you see. Get this blow off. Are you going to Dremel it now? Uh, no, I'm going to have to set it up. I've got to find oh, okay. a very small cutter. Right, I'll, I'll leave you. Yeah, there. I'll have to be sitting here very patient and quiet like I'm in lane. Yeah. Why don't you go and have a drink, watch some telly for a bit, have a rest? No, I've got spraying to do in a minute. Oh, what are you spraying? Uh, I'm spraying two guitars. Mm. I'm spraying the uh, Answer Telecaster. Oh yeah. And um, and I've got a, a Fender bass come in that it, it twatted from mm. the lower belt. I'll go fetch it now. I'm going to bring it in here and see how how, like, how it's doing. I might follow you and have a quick look at this spray job. Yeah. And then I really have better get going. I'm going out for a curry tonight. I mean, I'm yeah. having a curry, but for, I've got one in. Oh, no. You know, no, no. Marks and Spencer's curry. This is just going to be sanded down now and then re-sprayed. Uh, oh, that shouldn't be on there. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> and this is the uh, see-through black, metallic black. That's been up there for ages. Oh, you've done a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, I've done some more to it. I'm just doing it. But I've had so many repairs come in this week. Yeah. But I haven't been, had a chance to get down there. Uh, it's been a, it's been it's been a non-stop week, really. <sighs> I suppose you uh, having a bad knee doesn't really help. It doesn't help, no, because I'm struggling around. See, that's where he he, he smacked the end. Can you see there now? You've got to sand that sand that down a bit. I flat it down a lot. Yeah. Who's this? I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. Jolly good. Right, I'm going to love you and it's, leave uh, you, Doug. Seems a nice chap, though. Yeah, yeah. Probably a friend of mine if he's a nice chap. Oh, he won't know you. He won't know the likes of you, will he? I'm ne'er do well from buddy up the long term. Oh, don't you? I don't live in long term, do I? Well, you live close to. You're in that borough. Jackie, I'm in a deluxe area. <laughs> that, yeah, I'm not even going to say anything. Well, you don't, you don't even know where I live. You can't. Yeah, I live in Dresden. You can't even be bothered to come and see where I live. You're that good a friend. Right then. You're never there. You're always up here. What's the point? <laughs> there you go. Say, so there you say, go. Say, 
<laughs> say no more. <laughs> I said, Jug, 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 I'm going to end my life. Please come over. He said, Carl, I'm going to help. I'm going to, I'm going to save you. I'm going to help you. Doug, come over quick, quick. And then as I'm just drifting off, I go, bastard, never turned up. You'd be driving around. Well, you wouldn't even get in your car, would you? Let's be honest. I get in my car. I went to, got in my car last night to go to crew. No, I meant if it meant me, not, you know, saving my oh, life. Not for the likes of you, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, George, <laughs> let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Oh, did you see this? He's off again. He's off again. Uh, the oh, bloke, I sprayed that about six months yeah. ago for a chap. Says he can see through it. And he says he can see through the finish. Well, I've had a look about two weeks ago. I couldn't see through hey, it. Nobody can see through it. Uh, We've all stood outside in there, outside when it was sunny days to see if we could see through Does he it. live locally? No, he lives in Coventry or somewhere. Uh, you can see through the finish, so what can I say? To say you fixed it and send it back to him? No, I'm going to respray it. Put it, put it. But if, yeah. you ca if you can't see where the issue is, I know, there's no point you doing anything. The whole thing. Uh. I'll have three coats today and then I'll be spraying that one. Just three coats in that and I'll be spraying this as well, Aldine's uh, mandolin and that black one. Yeah. Today. Right there. And I shall solve the problem of the frets on that guitar. I would. I will. Right then, listen, I'm going to go. In fact, it's, uh, it's the narrowest fret slots I've come across, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. I, I, I thought Aldine was going to be here along with Des. Well, I thought they were, yeah. They you did, said they were. They did threaten to come and visit you. They did. They are always threatening to come and visit me. Right then, let's say goodbye. I'm going to try this fretway somewhere else. Yeah. Let's say goodbye, Doug. Have you gone? Yeah. Just fuck off. I'm How about a wave? You're distracting me from the important jobs. Ah, split your brain in two. Sorry? Split your brain in two. Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, that's, that's right. So yes. Uh, we'll, we'll do everything. Well, listen. You enjoy your crappy little uh, homemade curry, and I'll be in. Well, you no, know, it's not the nice curry from Mark Spencer's. Yeah, probably are. I'll be in pure heaven later. Where are you going, merch? No, it's just I go out with my friends. Every, a couple of a few friends every now and again, like friends I've known since I was uh, like ten. Good friends, not like you. I can't believe you've got any friends. Oh, tons of friends. Tons and tons and tons. I've got that many friends, I don't hey, tell people... you have to pay them. <laughs> yeah. I just don't tell people where I live so they don't come around like uh, hassling me all the well, time. you never told me where you live. Yeah. And then moan that I don't go see you. No, I don't moan really. I like my own space at home. Somebody knocks on the door, just ignore them usually. Yeah. Uh, right then. Adios, Doug. See you in a bit.